cases when your body is contracting, colliza infection. This is what you can observe. A drastic reduction in egg production when you're keeping layers. So colliza is a bacterial infection that can spread between infected and healthy buds upon body contact or even serving contaminated feeds and water. The other signs of the disease include decreased activity of the bud, swelling of the face, sneezing, nozzle and eye discharges, moisture under the wings, reproduction of both eggs and in meat buds, and lastly is the loss of appetite for food and water in affected bodies. So farmers that ensure strict biosecurity measures and regular vaccinations against the infection can be assured to eliminate and protect bodies from contracting infectious coryza disease. So in mild cases of the disease, when you catch the disease area, all you have to do, you get a wet and clean cloth and then you clean that affected eye. Then afterwards, you can use any of these antibiotics. It can be penicillin or oxytetracycline. Introduce two to three drops of that particular antibiotic into the eye and then using the same antibiotic, administer it to their cleaning water or if it's one but it's cleaning water for some good two to three days. The infection will be dismissed and the body will recover from that particular infection. However, in cases when the infection is severe, include the vet or you do this. Number one, you hold the bud gently by its beak, wings and legs. Next step is to press and drive out all the pus from the eye and ensure nothing remains. Using a pair of pincers, you remove that stuff on the eye and make sure nothing remains as any stuff on the eye. Then from there, you soak a piece of cotton into methylated spirit and you pass on to that affected part or the wound. Getting any antibiotic like the ones I mentioned above, the penicillin or the tracycline antibiotic, and then administer as eye drops, those are two to three drops in the eye, and then for the next three days, you administer it in there, clean drinking water. From there, the body will get recovered from the infection. Otherwise, guys, I wish you all the best when you're managing colliza infection in poultry bodies. I wish you all the best. Goodbye.